All right, guys, we are now at the Grip Edge booth, and we know all about Grip Edge products. We've seen it many, many times. You've seen me talk about it, and we know this guy right here, Mr. Dan Steyer. He's going to talk us through some more of the Grip Edge stuff and get some demonstration. So take it over to you, Dan. Hey, Mr. Subaru. How are you doing? Thanks for coming to the booth at SEMA. We're here having a great time. Let's talk about the Grip Edge Hex. RPT, rounding prevention technology. You guys have seen it. The ones who haven't, you need to know about it. In the demo block, I've got a good hex fastener and one that's been rounded out significantly. I've got a regular six millimeter hex to show that when you insert it into the good one and crack it loose, it works just fine. It'll tighten back down just like it should. That bolt and that tool's in good shape. When we insert it into the damaged one, there's absolutely no engagement whatsoever. Now, you can hear it clicking because when I apply pressure to that, all that pressure is being exerted to the outside corners. That's why they round over. RPT, rounding prevention technology, engages the fastener in a completely new way. When it's in good shape, it'll absolutely crack them loose and tighten them back down again, just like it should. But the interesting design allows the pressure to be pulled inward rather than pushing to the corners. That's the rounding prevention side of it. But have a look, if we put it into that damaged one, I can absolutely crack down and take fasteners out that no other tool has a chance to get out. And look at this, I can even tighten it right back down again. RPT technology is the next generation tool you wanna reach for it the first time every time, prevent the damage from happening, but if you come across one that's already been damaged by somebody else, we are your best fighting chance at getting it out. So guys out here at SEMA, we are at the Vera. Isn't that right? Vera. That's right. Vera, Vera, Vera Tools Vera. out of Germany. Yeah. W's or V's. Always yeah. remember, W's or V's. Out here at the booth, and we are going to check out some of these tools. Haven't really covered them in the past. We had that advent calendar a couple of years ago, but a ton of you asked about the joker wrenches, and we're going to get a demonstration of why you need them in your toolbox, right? Absolutely. Typical open end wrench is going to look like this. When you're in tight areas, you always get those two turns you can handle. You get to that point, you cannot get back on again. And if I go take this apart, that nut's going to fall inside whatever I'm working on. So with the joker wrench, you're able to lift up from the top, and I can stand here all day and keep turning. I never have to flip my wrench, I never have to do anything. I can keep turning and turning. I can also grab this fashion from the top side, back the bolt away, and the nut is actually captured on the end of the wrench. Turn it over and it will fall right out. So in order to put it back in, you can set it on the corners. Sometimes having to see is difficult. Put it right back in and put it back together. 80 teeth on this side, so four degrees of movement. We do make an offset version with a switch and a reverse switch. The Joker 6000 self-adjusting open-end wrench, it basically is a, enables you to cover metric and SAE sizes from seven millimeter to inch and a quarter or 32. Basically you put it on and as I turn, it re-centers each time you turn. So I can jump to that from that fastener to this fastener. Nice little speed wrench. We also make a voltage one, tested at 10,000 volts, guaranteed for 1,000. Anybody working in voltage, we did add the major feature of putting a thumb switch on it so you can open it. Very nice. How about a little bit on the uh, pair of tool check here? Yeah, it's a tool really popular item that you sell. Absolutely. Tool check plus is our most popular selling kits. We do make an SE and a metric version. You open up, you got your bits, even some tamper resistant torques. You have your socket rail. All the sockets are color coded by size. We had knurling for hand starting, so it makes it easier whether you're wearing gloves, your hands are greasy. A screwdriver with a rare earth magnet, very strong magnet. This little ratchet on top, 60 new meters of torque, or 40 foot pounds of torque, that's rated for. Lifetime warranty. Go back, which is a portable kit. So I, nice. so I have a maintenance guy that takes both of these kits together. He covers 80% of his daily job activities with these two kits. Nice. That's also something great you can throw a tool bag, go to the junkyard with, keep your glove box Absolutely. in your car for yeah. all those little uh, inconveniences along the way. Yeah. So, thank you, Dennis, for uh, going over some of the stuff from Vera Tools. Awesome. All right, guys, still out here at SEMA, and we are now at the Spring Tools booth. We've talked about Spring Tools a little bit in the past, but uh, we got our guy here, right Mr. Here. Brian, and he is going to give us a demonstration and tell us more about Spring Tools and why you need to add them to your toolbox. Hi, Brian Turpin, Spring Tools. We're going to start out with our uh, stamp ID kits. We have two size stamp ID kits, a 3 16 and a quarter inch. Nice thing about our tools, you see the, the stencil on the side, that's how it'll appear to you. Just set it on your surface, pull back that far, and let go. You aren't swinging a hammer in at 
whatever you're hitting so you can get into confined spaces and make your marks. Next we have our impact driver which comes with uh, all the different tips, a socket adapter and a regular size tip adapter. This produces 5,000 pounds of punch so it's going to give a good shock to the threads to break them free but it's also going to start recoining your nail head. So you can hammer that in a few times and then you can see how well it, it gets in there and you twist it out manually. Next we have our five piece metal working kit. It comes with a, a self centering tool. The tip retracts into the tapered head so you can use it for setting hardware or as a transfer punch. We have a couple different uh, style center punches for the next two tools. You can see it's broken right here if you just have a lightweight job knocking glazing off ceramic tile before you drill through it or whatever. You can pull back a little bit and do that or you can flip it over. You have a lot more mass on this side. You can mark Hardox 450 with it. This is aluminum but it, it, it marks all, all types of material. And we have a chisel, uh, steel chisel for shearing rivets off and a ping hammer. Ping hammer has a kind of a radius on one side flat on the other. A lot like a ball peen hammer you can use as a generic tool. Next we have our pen punch sets. We have eight different size tips and two different drivers. We have brass for your softer metals and we have uh, steel for everything else. For example, if you ever need to uh, drill through spring steel, you can put it in a jig, two hits, and you're through spring steel. All right, that pretty much gets you for your spring tool overview. Big thank you to Brian for uh, giving us that rundown. Thank you much. Appreciate it. Where can we get spring tools? Springtools.com. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, we're here at Bad Dog Tools. A ton of you have asked about these real bits, cut off tools, everything else on TikTok, Instagram, on YouTube. We're finally here with them at SEMA, and they're going to tell us more about their product. Yep, so here at SEMA 2023, we're showing off our multi-purpose drill bits. We've been making these drill bits for over 37 years in Bristol, Rhode Island. That tip is carbide, cobalt, nickel, and titanium mixture. And what that allows you is for that drill bit to be resilient and drill like carbide, but not be brittle and chippy like carbide. That will allow that same bit to drill into cast iron and steel and to continue on in the concrete underneath. If you have to do something delicate like ceramic or porcelain, you can now stack holes on the corner without blowing out your tile or impeding into another hole that is already in that tile. Now you can go from something very brittle and chippy like ceramic and go back into that hardened tool steel with the same drill bit. I'm back up on the RPMs, high speed, high pressure. The shank on our drill bits are 5140 armor steel, and that's gonna allow that drill bit to flex before it breaks. We make these to last a lifetime, but if it does not last a lifetime and you happen to break that drill bit, what you need back for replacement for life is just a piece of it to know it's ours. You get us a broken piece, we get you a new one for life. Here, Bad Dog Tools at booth uh, 34,000 in uh, SEMA 2023. All right, guys, out here at SEMA again, we are now at the Hot Zet booth, and we are going to be talking with Steven, who's going to tell us a little bit more about Hot Zet and uh, their product line. Okay, well, Hot Zet is a German manufacturer, full, full program of tools for all kinds of categories, and their catalog is divided into sections, you can see. So they got tool trolleys, hand tools, torque wrenches, pneumatics, all kinds of specialty tools, diagnostics, and things like that. All right, all color-coded, and as we go through, you can see, I mean, it's a huge, huge assortment. They're one of the premier German manufacturers of tools, things like that. So we are the sales agents here in the United States for these tools. And the Hazette line, they've been around for over 150 years, and you can see the breadth of the line. Their key is innovation as far as maybe tool storage, uh, applications, such as the smart rails. All right, so you can see that you just click, click that on, and now they're not gonna come off, but if you just turn that, it comes right off. Okay, so just some different ideas as far as storage and as far as some, maybe some of these cases that have everything, that have everything included in them. Okay, so there it is, very compact and ready to go. All right, the little smart cases some of my viewers have seen before. We've done the Hot Z advent calendars. I got one, I think last year was okay. the smart case with the exclusive hyper ratchet with the bit driver and the 
half wrenches. That's correct. So. Right, and then as far as the hyper ratchets, I mean, all 90 teeth, so a four degree swing. We have the quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, and even when we come to something like this where it's the extendable. Right. Okay. Thousand newton meters of torque on that one, right? That's correct, which is approximately, say, 770 foot pounds. Right. Give or take or so. But, but me, you, and uh, you know somebody else could never get Ain't 770 yeah. right. uh, foot pounds. Viewers are pretty familiar with that one. That's one of my favorite one as a barring tool for uh, Subaru cranks. So. Okay. Yes. So as far as the Hazette line, you know we we are a full service and full stocking distributor for these products here in the U.S. We have many distributors where you can get them, and if you have any questions, you just let us know. So I know that Hotzet has launched Hotzet USA recently. They've got the Instagram account coming up. Where can my viewers get Hotzet tools here in the USA? Are we going to sell direct or what? Because in the past I've had to buy them in Germany and bring them into the country. So we're getting the ball rolling on that. Is our website set up so far for commerce or is that coming soon? Or uh, So right now we have several online retailers as right. well as some other uh, people like maybe a Matco or a Cornwell dealer that might be an independent uh, dealer for hot set. Yes. Because right. especially the ones that are calling on people like the Mercedes dealership or a BMW, right. Audi, Volkswagen, and Porsche, you know, they want a specific tool because we have some vehicle specific tools. As far as online retailers, and obviously, listen, I'm gonna say a few names, and if I've forgotten anybody, I apologize, but you're looking at KC Tool. You're looking at Electronic Inventory Online, EIO.com. You're looking at Samstag Sales. You're looking at Motoring Shop. And there's several others where you can get the full line of the Hazet tools. Awesome. Thank you much, Stephen. Sure thing. Thank you. So, guys, still here at SEMA, and we are at another booth. This is a product I haven't covered. You've asked me about it in the past, and actually, you carried it on Snap on Truck years and years ago. But uh, it's for fixing your damaged threads the easy way if you don't have a tap or die. You've got the answer, isn't that right? That's right. Okay, so the Nest line of thread repair tools, we have solutions for external and for internal. Because here it is, when your threads are a mess, reach for Nest. As you can see with this, it's infinitely adjustable. So therefore it'll accommodate any diameter, whether it's SAE or metric. These lightly float, so therefore they'll adapt to any pitch. Use on right-handed, we can use on left-handed. These cutters are high-speed steel and induction hard to 58 Rockwell, so they're gonna last a few hundred times. But they are replaceable, all you do is punch out the roll pin, put in a new set of blades, put that roll pin back in. But here's how it works. Let's say we have a damaged thread, especially if it's at the beginning where it's mushroomed, you cannot get a die on there. So what we're doing is we're opening it, we're closing it onto where the good threads are. And you can see those two cutters just automatically find good threads. And as you chase that around, as it comes around, when, wherever the damaged thread is, you can see that cutter's just gonna cut right through. Now I can go from that size to this size, to this size, you can see in a matter of seconds, okay? All threads are 60 degrees, the cutters are 60 degrees. So that's external, that's the Nest 1A, goes up to from 530 seconds to three quarter inch, or four millimeters to 19 millimeters, and we, have a do, we do have a larger one as well. Now, what about internal thread repair? What happens is, the damage is gonna be right at the beginning, those first couple threads are gonna be cross-threaded or stripped. So what we do is we take this tool, we go down below the damaged threads to where there are good threads, and you can see as you open that up now, that cutter's gonna go into the good thread, and then you just circle it around and chase it back out. Because even if you have the right size tap, how do you go down through the bad threads to line up with the good threads? If you're successful, it just means that you were lucky that day. Right. Now, the challenge here is that with the Ness 1A, there are some limitations. Okay, so for example, if we've got a wheel bearing, something like this, you're not gonna be able to go all the way around. So what the factory have developed here is what we call the Nest 5 tight space thread restore. It goes from 3 8 to 11 16 or from 10 to 18 millimeters. The cutters are a little flexible with a spring, so that means they'll adapt to any pitch. So you take this, you put that on there, you close that on, it's gonna find the threads, and as you turn it around, it's just gonna follow the good threads, and it's gonna repair them all the way up to the top. Because how many times have we had a problem where somebody's taken the wheel off, they've damaged the, the stud bolts, whose fault is that, who's gonna pay for it? But when you have the Nest thread repair tool, especially the Nest 5, 
you can get this fixed in about a minute and you're up and running and the customer's happy, and especially your shop owner is happy as well. All right, so when your threads are a mess, reach for Ness. Awesome, thank you once again. All right, thank you.